Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, I am Lauren. In today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you my top five SLGs or small leather goods. I do have quite a number of SLGs. That's basically how I was introduced into luxury brands. I started with a small leather good from Louis Vuitton and then I feel like after that I kind of spiraled and I bought quite a few things. Um, but I've definitely backed off. If you're familiar with my channel, you know I don't buy a lot from Louis Vuitton at all. But um, I like SLGs because they help to keep me organized, in especially my bigger tote bags or my bigger kind of bucket bags or whatever I'm using. They tend to be a black hole, and so SLGs help me to be able to find items really quickly. Or little pouches too. You know that I'm a, a huge fan of the Lululemon Go Getter pouch in the larger and the smaller size, but. Even with smaller handbags, I just like to keep items in little pouches. I don't like things loose. So we're gonna go over my top five picks. Sorry, I keep looking down because they're down here. So let's start off number one, probably with my top pick, the one that I would always recommend 100%. This is my six key ring holder from Louis Vuitton. I can't remember when I got this. I feel like I've had this now for probably over five years, six years maybe, or seven years. Um, but I've had it for a fairly long time. I have mine in the Damier Eben. You can see that there is like some curling with the um, canvas there, but it's not in really bad shape. I do have some um, like loose kind of threads there, but overall for using this every single day since I got it, I feel like it's pretty good. Um, the price point of this is still not too bad. In Canada, I believe it is $395. I can't remember how much I paid for it. I think I probably paid maybe $300 or $325. But um, if you're not familiar with the Louis Vuitton key holder, um, this is what it looks like here. And it just houses your keys. The reason why I got this is because um, with some of my handbags, the inside of them, they're not lined and it's just like leather or suede or it's unlined and so when I had my keys in it, it would scratch the leather. So this has just been such an amazing item. I would 100% recommend it. I also never lose my keys because it is a bulkier piece. I've never lost my keys. I always know where they are. So I love this piece, highly recommend it. I know that some people like to put their ID behind there. I always say you shouldn't put your ID behind there because if you ever lose it, then the person not only has your ID with your address, but they also probably have the keys to your house, which isn't the greatest. Um, behind here, I always just keep a picture of my dad and then sometimes I'll put in some um, dollar bills or anything like that, but generally I don't put anything behind there and I'm totally fine with it. So 100% recommend this. It's been amazing. I got this to replace this clay, which I know is a starter piece for, this is my first piece from Louis Vuitton. I know this is a starter piece. I originally bought this for my keys, but um, my car when I had bought this wasn't a push start or wasn't like, yeah, push start. Um, so I actually had to put my key inside the car and I just found that this would always hit my leg and I didn't like this. So this is now just where all my change goes. And that's all that I use it for. So if you're thinking about one for keys, I'd highly recommend the key holder over the clay. If you're looking for something like a small wallet, then I would recommend the clay, but this is pretty pricey now. So, oh, I can't believe the prices of a lot of Louis Vuitton items. Um, moving on, we'll go to my small compact wallet. I generally like a compact wallet. I don't have any really large wallets. I think the if I were to get one, I really like the style of the Braza, which is from the Louis Vuitton, uh, from Louis Vuitton, the men's side. I love the Braza wallet, but it is fairly large. Um, so I always carry a compact wallet. This from, from um, YSL or Saint Laurent is so amazing um, because it's really compact, as you can see here, but you can carry everything. So there is a space for coins. I'm not using this one right now, but I do put coins in there when I am using it and it has a place for bills. So you don't need to fold your bills up like you would with say this little clay. 
Um, and then it has a place for a ton of different cards, as you can kind of see there. And then it also has a little mesh slot for your ID. So I find that this is perfect. Like I said, it's really compact and sleek. Um, it doesn't take up a lot of room, but you're able to carry change, bills, all your cards, basically everything that you would need. And it has a lot of, sorry, they're doing construction if you can hear that. And it does have a number of slots and you can put two cards behind each slot as well. So I would recommend this. I can't remember the price point of this. I will leave the prices online, but I do also think that this is fairly affordable. It is um, leather, it is that Matalasse, I think that's how it's pronounced, leather, sort of their version of caviar leather, and the wear has been really good, as you can kind of see. Um, I don't have scratches or anything like that. The only wear I'd say it has happened internally, where the Saint Laurent, um, has kind of rubbed off, and the, I guess, Saint Laurent Paris has rubbed off on the inside a little bit, but that doesn't bother me. So that's the second one. The third one that I would recommend, I don't know if they sell this anymore. Um, I think they might sell in other countries, but not in Canada. But this is my little Gucci Aphidia key pouch. Um, and this one is amazing. I'd highly recommend this one over um, the Louis Vuitton version. This one is more expensive, but you can hold so much more in this little pouch. So this one, has a little D ring as well so you can take it and you can attach it to a purse or anything but I have just sort of looped this on um, my case to phone case or not my phone case my phone bag strap I have just hung this on here too so I have my phone and then I have this hanging if I need to go run errands um, and in here I keep my car key and then I also keep my like my little Baccarat Rouge roll on. I keep some change. Um, but I have also used this just for keys as well. So if I'm just running out and I want something small, this is really good. You can loop this onto your pants. Like um, if you're wearing jeans, you can put it in that little belt loop there if you like. But I find that this one is so much more versatile than this one just because it is bigger. Um, you can fold money in this one. It's easier to access your money in this one than it is here and it houses change. You can fit a lot in here. It looks small, but you can put so much in this tiny little pouch. And in general, I do like the style of this a little bit better than the Louis Vuitton one, but that's also personal preference. I've had this one now for a few years and there's basically no wear on it at all. Like of the gold, I don't even think there's like a single scratch on it or on the hardware I should say and like the front it's not rubbing off or anything so would highly recommend this if you can find it or even on the pre-love market if you can find it would recommend this little pouch by Gucci. Moving on the last two pieces are by Louis Vuitton. Um, I did actually didn't really go in any order except for the first one which would always be my number one recommendation. The second one if you are looking for a small compact wallet I, or a card holder I would recommend this one from Louis Vuitton. This is from the men's side. This is the coin card holder. I've had quite a number of you actually purchase this after I've shown it because I still love this. I, they, I know they came out with the green version of it and I'm really tempted to get it. I want the fuchsia. I've always wanted the fuchsia from the Color Mania, um, but the green is also really stunning. This is such an amazing little card holder or mini wallet. I would recommend it over um, the Recto Verso or like the Rosalie card holder or whatever. I would recommend it more than any of the women's sort of similar styles just because this holds more. So there is a little slot on the back as you can kind of see there and usually what I'll do is I'll fold bills and I'll put them in the back if I am carrying money. This part opens up quite a bit as you can see it's really easy to find different cards or if you do have cash in there it's really easy to find um, and then the um, pockets in the front or the slots in the front, there it's really easy to get your cards out of there. There's four different slots. And generally, I mean, I feel like I don't even use my cards anymore because I always pay by um, Apple Pay anyway or on my phone, but this is so handy. The reason why I also love this is because of the hardware. So the gold hardware, 
that you see or the brass whatever color from the women's side you can see how it just gets so scratched up and tarnished um and i hate that about the gold um that's like the main piece but even here like on my key holder you can see that it's rubbed off a little bit but with this um color on the men's side i don't know if it's I, I can't remember what the name is. I find that it doesn't show wear as much or it doesn't sort of peel off or chip off. So that's why I love it, but would highly recommend this. This is probably my second recommendation next to um, the key holder. I would definitely recommend this men's coin card holder. I've had this one now for about maybe four years. And again, the wear on it is pretty good and they always come out with really fun colors and then the last one i would recommend from louis vuitton is the kirigami so i picked up the kirigami i think two years ago so i have the larger one here and this is still under a thousand dollars canadian so that's why i would recommend it um so um it comes with the larger one here with the rose ballerine on the inside i've used this one as a clutch just going to a wedding but you could also use it when you're traveling as well um, to put, you know, different odds and ends, like electronic um, cords or anything like that in there. This will be really great for that. And then the middle one will hold your passport, which is really nice. Um, I generally take the middle one and the small one with me daily. So the middle one has the red. And again, it's really functional. And then my last one here, I just have a bunch of gift cards, tons of gift cards in there, and it just holds it perfectly. But if you wanted a little card holder, I mean, card holders from Louis Vuitton are like 300 and close to $400, at least here in Canada. I think the cheapest one's around 350. You basically are getting a little card holder in here, and it's so cute, and it has a little snap closure as well. So I love the look of the Kirigami. I just think they're adorable. Um, so I would highly recommend it because you are getting three pieces for under $1,000. I feel like for Louis Vuitton, that's really rare. For the larger size of the Kirigami, I know that a lot of places on Amazon and Etsy have those converters. So you can convert this into a handbag essentially. So you can wear it as a handbag. Like I mentioned, I've worn it as a crutch, but you can actually put the insert in and then have a chain and then wear it as a little crossbody bag. So I feel like this one's really versatile. And like I said, for under a thousand dollars Canadian, you're getting three pieces from Louis Vuitton. I feel like that's unheard of because like all of these other ones that I showed you from Louis Vuitton, like this one is 565, I think. So they're fairly expensive, but those are the pieces that I would recommend. I feel like an honorable mention would probably be the mini pochette. But this now is almost the same price as the Kirigami. Um, when I got this, this was about $500, which was amazing. But I would recommend this as an honorable mention because this one's really multifunctional too. You can use it as a little mini purse, so you can attach like a chain crossbody strap there if you want to. You can carry it as a little clutch. I saw a girl the other day, actually she had it, I don't know how she did it. Actually, I do know how she did it. She had like a handbag, like a chain um, crossbody strap, but she wrapped it around her waist and was wearing it as a little bum bag, which I thought was cute. But I would, I mean, in the past, I used this for all my cosmetics, my lip glosses and things like that. This would be an honorable mention. If it were more affordable, I'd 100% recommend it. But because of the price point, I feel like it's not worth it right now. But anyway, <laughs> those are the items I wanted to show you leave any questions down below but thank you again for all the love and the support i appreciate it so much and i will see you in my next video bye